what's with this you know mother's obsession with their children getting married is it like a nigerian thing or is an african mother's thing because for the mothers that i know no they'll be like charlie just take your time when the time is right you will know when the time is right you make the decision but for most of the nigerian movies if it's not marriage once you are married to the one grandchildren like please come down for your for, for your children okay welcome to the channel thank you for making time to watch my name is bevelyn let me say that because of copyright issues i will be posting snippets of the movie i'm about to talk about no nada i won't be posting any part of it here we're going to make do with their pictures so you know bear with me and then let's get this review going so there's two major characters um imem and uh, imem played by omonio bully the producer of the movie and then eso <laughs> okay so when i first saw the fly i was like is um omoni going to play a character that you know she's indeed older than eso or it's going to be like you're going to turn a blind eye to the fact that she's actually older than eso but then they showed us that okay in the movie she's actually older than eso so i'll be coming to that age gap thing and then also to and then now dike he plays toby <laughs> you know what <laughs> my friend doesn't like the fact that um eso plays these kind of annoying characters so well like he's annoying he's annoying and funny at the same time okay she she so she doesn't we like like his movies but i don't know why i think that once you don't like the person for a particular character that the person is playing that means that the person is actually playing the character really well <laughs> okay so that's just you know by the way i think that i've realized that so is very relaxed in movies like when he's acting he's relaxed he's calm he's annoying and funny at the same time like as i said he's annoying and funny but he's just relaxed and just doing his thing which makes him a good actor actually i'm just you know um i didn't think you're true you know from his movies and i i really got to know him from this series on youtube um game on it's called Leia. so whenever i see him in the movie i'm like my dear Leia is in this movie and she's like nah, nah i'm not watching this movie okay so i just you know connected that movie this movie and then a night in july by omoni again and i feel like he's just a good actor he's relaxed he's like doing his thing you know in the movie so he also you know delivered very well in this movie he played that annoying character so well again hmm? Hmm. i think they're they trying to turn him into a mr lover boy kind of a thing but an annoying lover boy you get i'm going to talk about the themes that jumped at me the first one is um responsibility of ex of you know family the usual thing is that you know in the nuclear family once you know you are the eldest and you are working and you are earning and the younger ones are not you know at the same place as you are you know, it's you just you know assume on this role of providing for them and so it is normal in the nuclear family you provide for your siblings you look out for them this and this your parents and stuff but for imam's mom to make the external family's business her daughter's business is unacceptable which mother would you know strain her child so much and okay just be calling for money for your uncle this your uncle's cousin this your cousin's cousin's cousin this and that and i think that went on for a long time because imam failed to draw the lines and say mom you know what i'm not working for my extended family it's you and i so we are going to take care of you if i give you money and decide to you know play charity with it then that's your problem she did not draw that line she did not set that boundary and so he made the mom stress her out the more i mean like she was practically working to take care of her extended family who according to her were not there for them when their father died so like what's the plan like what was going on why should she do the sacrifice so much for this extended family an extended family no, even talk about Senate family. <laughs> I'm just mind my business <laughs> and talk about this review. You get so she didn't draw the line. She has to, you know, have um to be coming to draw the lines on her behalf. Like she could have done it and she should have done it sooner. Mom, I'm not working for the extended family, and you cannot force me. I will give you money. If you want to go and fix the problems of the extended family, it's on you. But me, no. And you <laughs> You know when the mom came and she was like, okay, you know what, I'm hungry, I want to eat pounded yam and, and they are still, you know, that soup or stew that they prepare. And she's like, mom, it's going to take like a long time, two hours to prepare this. Food. So I should starve, no problem. She decides to, you know, cook this food. The mom goes to shower, comes back and, you know, says, you know what, actually, I think it's late. 
the doctor said that she didn't eat me so i'm not eating ha if you miss if you if you saw that look on um imam's face if it were anybody any other person like a younger person or something i'm sure she would have slapped the person she just stared at the mom <laughs> she couldn't not tell me you can't hit your mom you cannot she just stared at the mom it's like okay you know it's, it's okay just good night just go and sleep like what do you put your daughter through this and say if your husband comes to request for this and abba 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 is marriage you know it's okay and what's with omoni's moms in movies you remember thicker than water she had a terrible mom this one too another terrible mom i hope they don't make that a thing that every movie omoni's moms you know are not sorry to say like correct moms I hope they don't make that a thing. But anyways, just by the way, I think because of the age and stuff, so that's how come they do stuff like that. Now, um, another thing that jumped at me is the age, you know, gap thing relationship. Now, in this century, age is just a number. And we've seen so many stories, we've seen so many relationships that, you know what, age is just a number. Don't mind anybody. And when, you know, so as I said from the start, I thought, I, I was wondering, are they going to pretend as if um, Omoni is not older than, you know, um, so like in real life and pretend as if they are of the same age but in the movie mm is actually older than toby and when the father mentioned that at the table she's like and so what it doesn't even matter any, any longer so now it, the age thing is just not a conversation any longer it's, it's it doesn't matter in in in, um, in relationships and so you know they just brought it down to so sure that you know what it's just a number if you have someone who is younger than you but you know just like the person just go for it okay so they brought that um theme to in there and it wasn't a bad thing at all. It wasn't a bad thing, you know, to have in the movie. The third thing that jumped at me was, um, you know, the father-son relationship. Toby's father. Like, what was his problem? I feel he's threatened by Toby's intelligence and how well and how composed he manages the company's affairs as compared to his. That is all. That is all. He's not like his son. His son is not like him. And so he feels like, you know that kind of a thing he's just somehow it wouldn't make sense to that he's jealous but it not like nothing makes sense to me a guy takes his time to make decisions pitches wins contributes 30 percent of the company's you know um, 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 um profits and he said he's not doing enough like what do you want if i just I don't know maybe he didn't know how to express his love to you know um the son he didn't know how to just go about it and how do you talk to your son in front of his fiance like that the fiance just puts you in your place because if your son cannot and because you know to be just out of respect he didn't want to attack his father or say stuff to his father even when he found out that the mom had the, the dad had gone to you know um, offer to pay him to back off he was still like trying to be very respectful in his warning and his, in his anger and the mom would not the mom would not let him i blame the mom too actually for how you know the to be his father treated him she just sat there always and said nothing he's the head of the family it doesn't mean that he you should sit there for him to crush the soul of your children no it doesn't mean that if you don't want to do it in front of the child you do it in the bedroom or just you know alone but to sit and concern and just be hmm, hmm, hmm. it's going to crush the, the the soul of your child and it might never bounce back i'm coming to this love bit you know when uh, the movie started i was like is he going to um convince a stranger to be his fiance for a day but then when he approached her and i realized that ah he's an ex then changes the story makes it even easier you know but the way they be like she wore the ring the parent came around it's like ah yeah, I'm going the ring. Ah, then that means that you are you, you are a fiance. And the mom said she won a bit like they, they were betting that. You know, see, see the look at the father's mentality. The lady turned my son down. I'm sure the lady turned my son down. Like, what sort of father is this? Anyways, I like how in Imam and then Toby um were very mature about you know how they went about things. Imam, you know, at a point felt like Toby was just um playing here. But I I applaud Toby's friend. For making that decision he made a business decision he's not in love with him and so he made a, a decision even though it's Imam's idea and was what not he felt he could you know take a thing or two to spice up the um the proposal and then it worked but then you know because of laugh thingy and you know, all that it's like you know i told her to do that and now he offers to give the company to um Imam. 
what's going to happen to Imem's own company? Is she going to leave that for the, um, the lady she works with to run? Or they are going to merge the two? What's going to happen to Imem's company? I don't know what's going to happen to it. I didn't see how that was going to you know, um, 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 unfold. Because it looks like she's accepting the CEO proposal that Toby has for her. But she's excited about it. I mean, she started whatever company. And so, But what's going to happen to her own company? I think that um, on the whole, it wasn't a bad movie at all. I had a good time. I was laughing here and there. I was just, you know, Toby's annoying, you know, moves and act and funny comments that he made. I think I don't think it was um, it was a bad story. Out of a five, I'm going to give it say a four. It wasn't bad. And the camera quality, I mean, the lighting of um, Omoni's movies are getting better, bit by bit. We are um, we are going to get that to give us this hundred percent, you know, um, lighting that uh, I am looking forward to. But then. I think it was a good show so let me know um <laughs> what stood out for you among the things that i've mentioned do you have the responsibility of catering for your extended family aside your nuclear family um any relationship with someone who is younger or older than you and how's your relationship with your parents like i would like to you know know a little bit more about you so do leave those in the comment section and i'll see you again do also like this video subscribe for the family to take care and to buy from me